My name is Eric Muncher. I'm a natural resource team lead in the Houston office. Been with SWCA for 15 years. And with me today is the Q4 for 2022 Larry Sema Award winner, Tom Sankey. Thanks, Eric. My name is Tom Sankey. I'm a senior project manager and senior ecologist, uh, regional scientist here in the Houston office. You know, I've been with SWCA for uh, 19 years, seven months and two days, but who's counting? <laughs> I started on July 7th of 2003. I received my uh, senior uh, professional wetland scientist certification in uh, June of 21. And uh, since 2013, I've been uh, QA, QC manager here. Joy Hinkst and I set up the program in 2014-15. Uh, for Houston, Baton Rouge, uh, Pensacola, and Jacksonville offices. By training, you're a geographer and an ornithologist, but over the years, and over through your career, you've become what Houston employees consider an expert in natural resources, considering um, Army Corps of Engineers permitting, U.S. Fish and Wildlife permitting. Uh, what first really interested you in this type of work, and how have you been able to maintain it for so long? I have always been... Um, interested in a in an outdoors career with a significant amount of riding involved in it. I originally went to the University of South Carolina for marine science. I was uh, part of the Jacques Cousteau, uh, you know, generation. And uh, I realized that I got seasick and was claustrophobic when I was using scuba gear and I struggled with math and physics and chemistry. And so uh, I got out of marine biology pretty quickly and went into geography. But my uh, thesis is actually uh, an avian ecology study. I lost interest in academia and got more and more interested in uh, the applied ecology side of things. And so, you know, I've, I've eventually found myself in consulting. You know, what has kept me here is the challenge of site investigations. What What is the site telling me? You know, what is the soils, the geology? What is the hydrology telling me, the seasonal changes? Plus, when I found out that we were all about sound science and creative solutions, you know, that became a mantra. I, I refused to take that off of my uh, email signature. So that's what happened. What, what would you consider some of your career highlights? The biggest highlight has been um, leading a group of of wetland scientists to become probably the, the best consultants in Texas, um, maybe the entire Gulf Coast region. Uh, you know, people like you and Patty and Anthony, Bra Patty Riley, Anthony Braden, Rick Howard, Fiona Cook, Caitlin Elric, and Aaron Duga, Aaron Tuggle. They're all known by people, first name basis at the Galveston district. We are known by that district as one of the best, if not the best consultants. I think one of the specific projects that I, I look at as, as really being comprehensive and, and all inclusive is the Fordyce Briggs project that we did uh, from t t that Anthony Braden and I were man managing from 2016 through 2021. Um, you know, we had a 6,800 acre site. It's the largest delineation and jurisdictional determination in the Galveston district. We actually helped this client quite a bit uh, in setting them up for success for the you know, the next 20 or 30 years, for sure. Well, that's, yeah, that's definitely a name that goes around the Houston office as one of the more complex projects we've had to deal with. Can you really share really some details on how you approached engaging with clients and keeping the program evolving over the time span that you've been around? In the beginning, there were nine employees here and we had about a million dollars in sales, maybe, or a million dollars in revenue. And Brian Fairchild, who was, who was the, uh, the principal of this office at the time, he would, about once a month, every other month, he'd come in, you know, stand in my door and say, can, can we do this? Can we do an ichthyoplankton sampling in the Gulf? Can we can we do, you know, have, have we ever done biological monitoring from boats in, in coastal settings? And I, I kept, the answer always seemed to be, we need to get a boat, we need to get a boat. So we ended up getting a boat in 2004. Um, but, you know, from that point, we've grown t uh, to the point of, you know, having 60, 70 people here. The quality of our work leads to a lot of repeat sales. The key really is meet cl with clients often, talk with them, but listen a lot more, ask them what their issues are, and they'll, they'll tell you what they need. You've had an opportunity to look to work alongside Dr. Carruthers on a particular project a couple of years ago as expert witness with him. Could you give some details of how that went, um, how the project came about? 
It was absolutely, uh, you know, an honor and a privilege to be able to work with Dr. Carruthers in preparing uh, expert testimony for the for the court case that was ongoing at the time. Um, the friends of Lydia Ann Channel and local environmentalist group um, were really concerned about, you know, the impacts of having these barges on these mooring dolphins. Um, what started out as a letter of permission from the Corps of Engineers, the presence of, in, you know, of threatened and endangered sea turtles in the area. And when the temperature gets at 50, below 50 degrees, often they're stunned. Uh, so they're not, you know, they're sitting, not sitting duck, they're sitting turtles essentially and can, you know, they're helpless in, in the water column. You know, it was a, a really exciting project. It was an honor working with with Steve Carruthers um, and and it's something I, I'll always remember. It, it, was, it was quite a special project. I always enjoy talking to you with that one. It's a, it's a, I think a, a prime example for an SWCA project, kind of a, a one SWCA effort and uh, really technical work. In dovetailing into the technical stuff, um, what do you think of uh, a, a consulting firm having a program like the Scientific Leadership Program and, and, and awarding its scientists awards like the Larry Seymour Award and, this, and the Stephen W. Crothers Award? Well, it, you know, it sets us apart for sure as a consultancy. I, I don't know of another one in the, in the country that actually does, that actually has a dedicated uh, science leadership program and that awards uh, the, the, the scientists within our, um, within our company. It really has jump-started my interest in research and the publications. It's jump-started my interest in, in advancing that sound science part of our tagline. What advice would you give colleagues pursuing technical careers in consulting or within SWCA in general? The technical path uh, is something that I think sets us apart. You know, the science, scientific leadership, the science leadership program, the technical path. Uh, I would encourage people if that's if that's what you want. I would I would encourage people to go on the same path. It's it's been and continues to be a really rewarding career for me. Awesome, thanks, Tom. Really appreciate your time and congratulations on the Larry Team Award. Thank you so much, Eric. It's it's a it's an honor.